um, Hope Mironji uh, work with Kamuyang Positives, which is an organization that looks at around treatment literacy and access treatment and utilization for young, for the young positives, meaning that those who are born with the virus. We started with the computing, writing the proposal, because we wanted to get involved in the research to, to understand more what are the key barriers to access treatment among orphans. The ITPs has provided us with technical support, like before the research, we had the training and we were trained on how we could make how we we're going to do this kind this research in the community. And the young positives themselves were research assistants and went to the field to collect this data. Yeah, the next step is now going to do advocacy. We've, we've outlined quite a number of issues that we'd like to address, but we'll zero down to, to one. The major key barrier to access among these offices was mainly the, the distance and unfriendly service. Unfriendly services include like the time they spend with uh, these orphans is not enough to make them understand why they are taking ARVs, to help them understand when they will stop taking these ARVs, to help them understand why, why, why them and not their fellow siblings. So we want to advocate for, for, for friendly services in terms of having a special day for these offices. I am Lilian Kothagemo. I work for Cotanet, which is Community Treatment Access Network, an organization based in uh, Kenya, in Nairobi North, in Majengo slums. I'm so humbled to be involved in missing the target process 11, because the, the process is uh, addressing barriers that key affected people, particularly the sex workers that Cotanet works with, is experiencing in accessing treatment and care for HIV. It was based in the community, the grassroots, and it is not the researcher, the ITPC Global, that is coming down to the grassroots to do it. So this is a unique kind of research. There were issues with the quality of care, they felt the the quality of service was was um, poor, just to say. Another finding that came out came out uh, vividly was um, the the services are not integrated at all. We find uh, you it is not a one stop shop for the for the the health the sex workers, and this is not 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 friendly. I'd give an example of male sex workers where they came out strongly saying that their, the, the services offered at, at Majengo Dispensary are not targeting, targeting male sex workers. We have right to access to treatment and that is a human right. And if the, 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 the treatment services are not are made are not made available to us or acceptable to us that is i feel that is violating a right of a person living with hiv